Morning. Hello, everyone. How's it going? Mmm. Oh, you'll have to bear with me. I've literally just downed my breakfast. So I've got my cup of joe. Hell yeah, look at that. Bit of Disney merch. Mmm. Oh, look. Look how big this mug is. It's huge. Normally, I only have to have one of these. And it deals with me for the rest of the morning. Good morning, morning, morning. Welcome back to another exciting stream. I'm on, I'm on, uh, I, I thought I'd wear my shirt today. I thought I'd be on brand today. Black t-shirt yesterday, red shirt today. Maybe a combo tomorrow. Who knows? Mmm. Just gonna give it a couple of minutes. Wow. We'll give it, we'll give it a, like, 30 seconds, and then we'll start getting into it. I'll start getting myself prepped. But yeah, today, um, we're going to do more drawing. Uh, for anyone that didn't know on the stream yesterday. Uh, ooh, have I got that the wrong way? Nope. Um, we are creating odd work for a card game that I came up with about two years ago. All the artwork I've designed, I drew up. Scanned into the computer. I did about half. Like, look, this is my checklist. If you guys can see. It's not showing up very well on camera. There we go. It's like a checklist of all the de designs for all the cards. I got about halfway and then I stopped. <laughs> Ooh, camera went out of focus then. Don't know why. So, yeah. So, it was a little bit uh, interesting. So, I, that's basically my task while I'm on these streams. I want to actually complete this card game. And show it off to you guys. I'm not saying it's going to be anything good. This is more just like, I like card games. So, this is more just a home project. Alright. Um, but on the stream, please do ask your questions. I'd love to answer anything you have. If you want to know about me, this is the time to do it. Hence the stream title. Um, but yeah. I tell you what. Shall we just get into it? Let's stop chatting. Let's, uh, poof. Look at that. I'm a little bit more prepared today. Uh, where's my pen? Boop. Pen time. Okay. Right. We are going to be drawing a lovebird character today. So let me just load up the character that I've already scanned in. I can't, there is a, there's another drawing that we are going to do on tomorrow's stream. Uh, it's pretty funny. Well, I think it's funny. I think I think it's uh, on point, but we'll see what you guys think. Okay, so this is Sneak P3. We're not going to do the shield. Eh, it's a bit boring. I might do that sort of thing off camera. We're going to do this little lovebird character. Ooh la la. We're going to see how lovebirdy we can get with this thing. So, how are we all driving today anyway? Are we all good? It's miserable here in the UK. Absolutely miserable. The weather is diabolical here in the UK. Alright, let's meet you big. Meet you for the page. Okay. Sweet. Excellent. Okay. So this is going to be our love bed. I might have to tweak it slightly because... Uh, I feel like this arm motion here is probably not quite right. Um, but then again, knowing me, I'll probably just be like, Eww. Ah, no debt. It's fine. <laughs> right, let's drop this into my reference layer. Now, I got a bit of feedback that uh, some people, well, maybe one or two people, weren't quite re uh, sure what I was doing in the layer panels and how I was doing my texture stuff. So we'll do a little bit of that later as well. Uh, I'll do a little bit more explanation today so that everyone's a little bit clearer as to what I'm doing. Uh, if I make any funny comments, who knows? Oh, by the way, if you check my socials, um, there's content on my YouTube, which is basically just today's stream. Uh, there's a highlight reel that I did of yesterday's stream, um, which I thought was funny. I don't know if anyone else thought it was funny, but I found it funny. It's just where I was struggling with the hand. <laughs> right. Anyway, enough waffle. Let's get into it, shall we? 
So, we're going to go to the character layer. We're going to make a new layer. And we're going to change my blush to black. And we're going to have a six point brush. Because I always draw my outline of my character in a six point. To make them stand out better on the page. And I'm just going to go in and outline. Now, I'm not going to draw the love hearts on this layer this time. Because they're going to be part of the background. So, I want those to be separate. Okay. Right, there's a lot of curves in this one. So, I've got to be careful. Now... I kind of get what I was doing here, because obviously I was doing, this is the belly, and this is like a wing behind, but I might change that slightly, so I'm going to start on this side. And that already was a terrible start. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Nice curve. Uh, oh, I have got pressure on. I do not want pressure sensitivity which is this button up at the top. I like my lines non-pressured when I'm doing this sort of art style. Don't ask me why. It's just a thing I do. But yeah, do ask your questions in the chat. If you, if you, if no one asks any questions, then I'll just slowly tell you guys a little bit about myself so you can all get to know me. So it's not just any old random stream today. I'll give uh, the chat a little bit of a chance to have a little conversation first. Otherwise, we're just going to chill. Be nice and mingling today. On this miserable wet day. Uh, if you guys are interested, the music is all from a guy called The Relax Movement on YouTube. He does completely copyright free stuff. Uh, as long as you give credit. That's where my music is coming from. He basically does like 12 hour loops. So it's just ideal for me. Then I can just leave that sat in the background. And just do my thing without the worry. And without the worry of being copyright striped. Okay. So I'm not going to draw in the beak. Now, do I want to change the wing? I don't think I do. I quite like the wing. I'm just going to leave the wing as it is. We're going to just carry on. Okay, so the wing goes down like this. Now, I don't think we're going to see his back wing anymore. I don't think that was a good decision when I drew this in the first place. So I'm going to do this instead. We're just going to follow his belly. Little fat buddy, look at him. Nah, oh, so cute. He's a little cute little bird. Just like me. I think I'm a cute bird. I don't know. Um, okay, I'm actually going to leave my... Uh, I'm going to leave it as a six point for now. Because now I'm going to do, like... I'm going to do his eyebrow. Oh, whoosh. Oh. Uh, whoosh. Now, the thing is here, really I should be using uh, my pressure sensitivity because of the taper on the end, but meh. I ain't bothered. You know what? I'm actually going to make this a massive brush. I'm going to use a 20 size. So then I can do a nice, good, rounded eye. I hate it sometimes when the pen... You let go and it sort of just flicks. But I got it to work that time, so that's good. Alright, let's drop it back down to a six. There is little blush. Ah. Nice. Now this, I'm not gonna color I'm not gonna draw. I feel like this would be better if it's just on the character with no outline. Mm, well, I don't know. Actually, we'll see. Let's draw it in anyway. Okay. Uh, again, I could just use the shape tool for clarity and ease, but I want that hand-drawn look, so I don't want it to look perfected. <coughs> right. Now that we've done 
the outline for our little birdie. We need to give birdie a name. What should we call birdie? Let's call it... I'm not going Tweety. That's already been done. Warner Brothers copyrighted that anyway, years ago. Let's call you... And I'm not doing Polly. That is way too overrated. Um, How about... Molly. It's like Polly, but better. And not outdated. So we're going to go with Molly. Molly the bird. Hello, Molly. How are you today? Oh, Molly is not happy with the way I'm drawing her. Huh? That's better. Mm -hmm. Oh, too far. Try again. Mm -hmm. Too far. Try again. Mm -hmm. Too far. Try again. Got it! Nice. Okay. Uh, right, let's do this wing. I am going to keep the wing as it is. I quite like the wing. So. Yeah. That is no enough perfection. Um, let's bring this round. Now, rather than... Mm, do I just do this? And then do the cut throughs like this. If I just hide my reference material for a minute. How does that look? That looks really blocky. So, yeah, we're not going to do that. We're actually going to make it look like the wing is like fingers. Oh my god, that was terrible. <laughs> I'm trying to do it all in one stroke. But sometimes it's a little bit difficult. My hand is so wobbly today. So, what can I tell you guys about myself? How about where the journey of art began for me? Shall we start there? I feel like that's a nice little story to tell people. So, my journey of art all began, really, uh, well, I was always drawing as a kid. I used to love drawing as a kid. Uh, along with many of my hobbies, like playing games and, ha uh, well, mainly just playing games, actually. I didn't really have many hobbies as a child, myself, personnel. So my hobbies were basically playing, just playing games and drawing. And I was drawing from probably the age of four, five, like properly drawing, I mean. So where you could actually make, make sense of what I was drawing. Obviously I was drawing as a kid as well, but as a baby, I mean, but it's not quite the same. So I was able to draw proper stick men characters Probably around the age of five. And uh, it really took off from there, really. Um, I just love the fact that you could just get lost and just come up with anything crazy. Like, my my head was, like, full of these crazy ideas when I was younger. I had such an imagination. And I think that imagination really helped with my art because then I was able to just come up with ideas on the spot uh, yeah I like that big. that's fine um, so at the age of five I was just drawing casually mainly cartoons I was never really good at realism stuff hence why my streams are not realism right now and I really took off with my art when this Gotta sound really bad, so I'm sorry for any Catholics or Christians out, out there. Um, so I used to go to church to do my Holy Communion and everything else, as a good little Catholic boy would be. But rather than sitting in the church and actually taking in what the priest was saying and doing all the other little bits on the side, I like going to like the, the little Sunday schools that they were having on the church at the same time. It was like halfway through the Mass. The kids would go to the back, do something creative, so it's a bit more interesting for them. I'd do that, but also, my mum used to give me a sketchbook, because she knew I was 
not interested in being at the church. I would do my prayers. I'd go up for my communion. I'd do all of that. But majority of the time, I would sit there with a pencil in my hand and sketch. <laughs> I would never sketch anything else. And actually, that was the first time where I did do realism sketch. Because I was sketching the altars. And every week we'd go and I'd be sat there sketching the altar. Doing the exact same sketch. I just found it interesting. It was something for me. And one day, I managed to do enough of a sketch that it was good for my age like i was showing it to my teacher my teacher was really impressed they wanted me to do a little bit more arty stuff and they were even encouraging me to carry it on and i think that's where it really took off so i would have been about uh seven about seven years old eight years old now obviously i think back those sketches probably weren't that amazing at that age but, they were good for my standards at the back in the day. Uh, and since then, I've just always sketched. Uh, I've always done pen and paper. Uh, or pencil and paper, should I say. Um, but I feel like I kept dipping in and out of drawing. So I didn't really develop my skills well enough. To then carry on and start doing realism and start doing art as a profession. That's what, not what I do. This is just me doing art because I enjoy doing art. But I enjoy doing... Ooh, excuse me. That's what happens when you have a big jug of tea. Poof. Uh, that's what... Um, yeah. So I just enjoy art because I love how it makes me feel. I get lost in it. And no one can tell me if it's right or wrong. At the end of the day, it's my stuff. If no one likes it, I don't care. At the end of the day, it's for me, most of the time. All right, I'm making this sort of artwork for a card game, but again, it's for me. And the reason why I wanna make a card game is because I really like card games. Uh, that's another fact. So when I say I really like card games, as in I really like card games. Now, before I get into card games, I feel like Molly needs a little no spit. I missed out on the original drawing. I don't know why. <clears throat> I really wanted to give her like a little meme tongue. Like this. But I feel like that's not really going for the uh, atmospheric mood that I want for this drawing piece. So I'm going to leave that as it is. So I'm just going to call my layer. Uh, so rather than layer 2. We're going to call it uh, outline. Oh, no. Not outline. Outline. Thank you. Now, I'm going to go back to my reference because I've got all these love hearts, right? Now, I'm going to do this on the background layer. We're going to do some fancy stuff. So, again, I'm going to call this outline, but I'm going to call this outline BKG. So, I know that means background. And all I'm going to do is... Now, I'm going to be very naughty. I'm going to do, like, copy-paste because I'd rather do a copy-paste. Rather than going, oh, here's one heart, here's another heart. I mean, I might do like one or two different sizes of hearts and then do the copy-paste trick. Um, but I'm also going to do it all in point three because, again, this is my background. I don't want it to stick out from the foreground. If anyone else is just joining us, welcome. Do ask anything in the chat. Uh, you don't have to be a follower or anything. Uh, this is a very open stream. I welcome anyone who wants to join. Uh, if you want to know a bit about myself, so you know who I am, then ask away. I've just told a little history about why I've started drawing in the first place. And I was about to get onto another story of why I like card games. If you'd like to stick around in here, I can tell you. Uh, by the way, the preview's in the top right, if anyone didn't know already. Okay, so before I get into my next story, I'm just going to decide if I want to draw. Because I can't. I'm not going to do, I'm going to do different hearts. Let's do another heart here. Oh. Oh my god, what is with the flicking? Just do a heart. 
Okay, that's a bit better. We can work with that one. Just tidy up a little bit. Uh, body, how shiny is your head? Um, it's not that shiny. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, I'm a bold guy. What do you expect? Anyway, how you how you guys doing? I say how you guys doing, but I'm part of that streaming too. Ha ha! Plug in. Ha ha! Oh, uh, speaking of plug, uh, anyone interested? I am going to be on the Bone and Beefy channel later with uh, my fellow companion this evening at probably 8.30 British time. If anyone wants to join in for some gaming action with a duo, get two for the price of one. There you go. I've done my plug. Now you can not yell at me. <laughs> uh, let's do another shape. So how's it going? Are you busy working today? Or are you not working much? Oh no, wait, are you off because of the kids' birthdays? Alright lad, catch you later. Enjoy. Ah. Right. Cheers buddy, I really appreciate that. I appreciate you coming in and just dropping by, so good luck at work. And I'll catch you later anyway. Don't forget, guys, Bold and Beefy stream tonight, 8.30 p.m. BST time. Gotta do that plug-in. Oh, you know what? That is probably one of the better heart shapes I did. <laughs> God damn it! I always do that. Okay. So, now that I've got my background, I've got some of the parts. I'm going to hide my reference because I don't really care about that for now. I'm going to use my lasso tool and just go around each of the hearts and just kind of place them roughly. Actually, I kind of like where that was. Just kind of re replace them. So now I've got myself like a little four heart pattern. I'm going to use this four heart pattern. And I'm going to duplicate. Oh, hello. Ah! I want to duplicate. Why are you being stupid? There we go. Okay, we're going to duplicate. Oh, my days. It's the only downside when you're working with just line work. You have to select the line, or is it just messes up completely? And now what I'm going to do is, so they're not completely uniform, I'm going to select these ones and then just shift them around, so rotate them slightly. And we'll shift this one. We'll shift that one. And we'll shift that one. Let me slightly move it as well. So then, although it's the same shapes, it looks slightly different. And I'm I'm just gonna do this, the exact same thing again. So I'm gonna copy paste. Whoa, too much. Copy paste. Bring that over. And then this time, we're going to rotate them the other way. And this way. Oh, not make you bigger. Go that way. And, whoa, oh, not make you smaller. Go that way and just move you back up. And what we can also do, so I'm going to combine these three layers so they're not all separate. And what else I'm going to do, I'm going to select some of them and just flip them. So they're also doing something slightly different. And then we'll flip this one. And we'll flip this one. Nice. I like it. Right. Now we need to duplicate. Duplicate. Oh, look at that. Near enough. Perfect. Uh, although, I've accidentally duplicated my background layer half a dozen times, which I didn't want to do. So let's delete these ones. We'll combine these ones. And then what we're going to do is just shift them around. They fill the space better. 
it across. Cool. Now, there's one issue I've just noticed. You can tell this has been duplicated <laughs> because of uh, how I've done it all. So, what we need to do is second lot for not flip. <laughs> Actually, what we need to do is, um, well, are you going to be able to tell? Most of it's going to be covered by the by Molly anyway, so I think we should be all right. Maybe, we shall see. Mm. Oh, that's a good hot cup of gel. Mm -mm. Love it. Okay. Let's get mine these. And let's tell you another story, shall we? So. What I'm going to do is. While I'm telling you guys the story. I'm just going to sort of fill in some of the gaps. With some new ones. You love it. Of course you do. It's a fellow love hearts. <laughs> you love anything to do with love hearts. Don't you darling. Uh, I know some of this is going to be covered. But better safe than sorry to fill it in. And I'm going to do it freehand. And I'm also going to do it on the side. Uh -huh. So, why do I love card games so much? That was going to be the next topic. So, I began living card games. So, I'm not on about just any old card game, by the way. I'm not on about... Oh, yes, I'm a love heart girl. <laughs> I know you are. That's always been your dream with love hearts. Now, when I say card games, I don't just mean any old regular card games, okay? I mean your little bit nerdier card games, basically. Actually, I like how I've done that because then it keeps it different. So let's put that there. And, ah, I didn't mean to duplicate the whole thing. Do that there, and we will transform it and flip. Bit of variety. And then all I'm going to do is just copy those ones and put them in the gaps. So, the card game I really enjoyed as a kid. Uh, so, I was really being into Yu-Gi-Oh! as a kid. I absolutely adored Yu-Gi-Oh! It was the first ever trading card game I got into. I didn't know about anything else. Sorry, I'm just deciding if now I have too many love hearts in this background. I don't think I do. You're not going to see half of them. I am a big kid. Thank you for, thank you for pointing that out, Vic. <laughs> I am a massive kid. Um... But ever since I was... So, Yugo came out at around the time I was like... So, it's just celebrated its 25th anniversary, I believe. I don't play it now, but now and again it comes up on my feed. Because I still like... Still like uh, reminiscing on my pasthood. So, I think it's been around for 25 years. So, that would be 1998. So, I was about 6 when it came out. And I was obsessed. I loved the game. I loved the anime. Um, I read some of the books, like, it was probably one of my first animes I ever got into, and one of my first mangas I ever got into, I just loved the books, I know that, I know Yu-Gi-Oh was main concept, is, it's not just a trading card game, it was meant to be about loads of different games, but then they expanded out into the trading card game, because that seemed to just hit the market better, I just loved it, it was great, I always wanted to be Yami Yugi, I always wanted to be like, Dark Magician, hated everyone who wanted to be Seto Kaiba with blue eyes. Joey Wheeler, eh, red eyes, cool. Dark Magician, loved it. That was another thing. Spellcasters, just always, always been a fan of them. Hence why I loved uh, Dark Magician so much. Um, so my passion for card games came in at that point, And... I was basically just trading, playing, all these kind of things. And as I grew older, I basically played Yu-Gi-Oh! Up until uni. 
like university days. So I played Yu-Gi-Oh for about 15 years solid. Not competitively, because I didn't know there was even a thing of a competitive scene or anything. I just played for fun. And collected so many cards. I've still got a collection upstairs. It's not all in my collection, because I did lose cards and give cards away along the way. But it's a, still a collection of some kind. Where I just can't part from it. I love it way too much. It's just too much of my memories. Which is why I can't get rid of it. And... I also began learning the card game, so this is just before uni days, I got introduced to Magic the Gathering. Now, fun fact, I was actually introduced to Magic the Gathering when I was also about 8 years old. Had no idea what the game was, didn't know anything about it, didn't know anyone that played it, looked at the cards, thought it was all a bit meh, because back then I was just like, ooh, anime, ooh, 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 and I didn't really appreciate the actual artwork of Magic the Gathering back then. Now... Magic the Gathering is my go-to game. I love Magic the Gathering. I used to love it more, probably about four years ago, when I had more time to actually play the game and do things with the game. But now I just admire the game. I sometimes still watch clips. I play Commander as my go-to format. Um, if anyone wants to know any of my Commander decks, do hit me up and I can let you know. And if you ever want to play, uh, just let me know, because I'm always looking for new decks to play because sometimes I get a bit bored of playing the same decks and I just want to play something different that's why recently me and my friend we went to command fest over in Birmingham it was perfect just what you needed a little bit pricey but you get to play against so many different decks and you see so many new ways of playing the game honestly it's unbelievable so that's why I love card games because I love the interaction of it I love the strategic planning behind it all. I love the artwork. The artwork on Magic is so good. It's just a shame that they keep releasing more product and product. And I just don't have the money for that much product. Uh, if anyone else is joining in the chat right now. I'm just on about why I love card games. And why I'm doing art. Basically. Uh, I was just saying that I'm a big Magic the Gathering player. So if you got any Magic the Gathering questions. Hit me up. I'd like to know what Commander decks you play. Because that's my format, if you play Commander. Now, back to the drawing, shall we? Um, if anyone else has any other questions, do drop us a comment. It's great. Uh, this is what we're working on today, by the way. This is Molly the Bird. Say hi, Molly. <whistles> Molly can't talk. Well, she could, probably, in the card game that I'm making. Shh. Right, we're going to add some colour to Molly. What colour should we call Molly today? <coughs> Again, I don't do swatches. You guys... Well, if anyone watched this from the last time, I can delete this now. Uh, I don't do swatches, I just colour it. Um, so what colour should Molly be? What colour should we have? She's a bird, but I don't know what type of bird. Mm, she kind of looks chicken-esque. So maybe yellow? Maybe I've got to do a yellow. Um, we're going for like a opaque yellow. Let's see what that one looks like on Molly. Maybe like an opaque yellow. Yeah, I think so. Um, but yeah, do get involved. Uh, this is uh, a stream just finding out who I am, if no one knows, because I'm completely new to the block. Uh, contract. Two pixels. Go to my color. Get my fill tool. Bang. Look at that. She's already filled. Oh, excuse me. I've got the burps. I've literally just had the biggest tanker of tea in my Disney Pinocchio mug. Mm, lovely. And I've rushed down the cereal, so <laughs> before the stream. Probably not wise. Right, while well, I've got selected, so because we're going chicken ask, she needs to have a reddish pink quiff. Now, I know I've done this already, but I'm going to actually select the quiff. Mind if I expand two pixels wide, and then that way I can just fill the quiff. Now there are a little bit of gapage here, so I'm going to use my pressure sensitive brush, drop it right down, and we're just going to go straight into the corners, like this. Yeah, but if you're just here for the vibes, then come and chill. Now, how do we how do we think this quiff is looking? 
I think it looks okay. I think we could also get away with using the same colour, but for her little rose. So, uh, now I don't know if I need the outline, so I'm going to make my brush feathered this time. And I'm actually going to do this, because I feel like if it's a blush, it should be like this. So when we get rid of the outline... Oh, hell yeah. Yes. That is much better than having an outline blush. We're keeping that. We're going to keep that. I might make it a little bit more opaque. It's a bit in your face. Ah, screw it. It's a love heart. We're going, we're going, we're doing a love bird. Look. Love. Ah. Okay, moving on swiftly. Uh, so, we've got her uh, yellow bait. Right, let's do the beak. So, the beak. Let's hold out the beak. Let's go to expand. Uh, if anyone doesn't know, my art style is very cartoony. So, unfortunately, you won't be seeing much realism on this channel. But if you're here for anything cartoony, then by all means, join in. My order is on the way. Yay! More stuff coming for Christmas. Right, what colour should we make the beak? Now, she's yellow, so let's make the beak like a... Like a coppery colour. Oh, I'm drawing that on the wrong layer. There we go. Uh, hmm. Don't think I like that. Now, I feel like... I felt like that would work better if she was the opposite colour. Hmm. Hold on. Let me just get a chicken reference. <laughs> Let me look at a chicken. It's a chicken, are they? They go hard, they go hard, they go hard. Um, right. So I, I, I put in chicken and it's just coming up with fried chicken. <laughs> I'm not joking, look. <laughs> That's not what I meant by a chicken. Okay, that's uh, not helpful. Uh, I'm just going to quickly make a note, by the way. Uh, because that was slightly funny. Uh, where's my notes? Doing. Uh -huh. So we are about 40 minutes in. Give or take. Actually, no, we're more like 30, 35 minutes in. Right. Anyway, back to my chicken. <laughs> That's fried chicken. Um, I want a real chicken. Real. Ah, here we go. See? A lot of these chickens are redheads. And they have like a little bit on the bottom. I don't, I don't understand what I made. What did I draw? I thought I was drawing this chicken. You know, it's got a red quiff. And then I, um, this is like a weird chicken thing. Is it a chick? No, because then you haven't got quiffs. What did I draw? I am so confused, guys. Like, I don't understand what the hell I've been drawing. This ain't clearly a chicken. Maybe it's a pigeon. Hold on. Pigeon. Did I basically draw like a pigeon slash... Oh, wait. Hold on. Love bird. It's a dove. It's a dove. <laughs> Not a very good dove, but it's a dove. Look. Doves don't have quiffs, though. <laughs> Why am I so bad at this? Right, well, my dove has a quiff. <laughs> this is going to be a love chicken. It's going to be a chicken cross dove. I can't believe. Right, in that case, we. I'm funny. I hope so. Well, I don't hope so. I just don't realise what I've drawn, that's all. Right, uh, okay. So, in that case, we need to change the colour of Molly because she can't be this colour. So, modify, expand, two pixels. Molly! Uh, what colour should we make Molly now then? Her beak can stay the same. We'll, we'll go like an off green! Chat wants green. Yeah. No. Ew. Ew. Wait, what about an off blue? 
nah, that don't work either. What about... What about an off pink? Ooh. Ooh. Nah, sorry, chat. Uh, we're going, we're going blue. We're going pink. She's going to be an off pink. And then her belly... Modify, ex no, not contract. We want expand, ex expand, please. Expand, thank you. Uh, then her belly needs to be like a, a, a very pale pink. Nah, it's a bit too pink. Maybe a very pale yellow. Nah, it's basically just cream, isn't it? Uh, what about that color? <clears throat> I'm using the chat. Then she will look featherless. That's a bit harsh. Wow. I didn't realise you were so harsh to Molly the bird. Uh, you know what? I think she has to be enough pink. What type of bird is she? I have no idea. <laughs> if I knew what type of bird, I'd be telling you. But I think she's like a dove pigeon chicken cross. <laughs> I have no idea. But you know what? It's a fantasy game, therefore it's a fantasy bird. I'm ma I'm making a new bird, chat. Yeah, this is this is not a pigeon. It's not a dove, and it's n and it it's not a chicken either. It's a. Uh, I've got to come up with this. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Let's just write this. So it's not a pigeon. Wait, that's. Let, let's do it. Let's do it together, right? Let's name that. Let's see what Molly is. Right, so she ain't a pigeon. She ain't a chicken. And she ain't a dove. So what is Molly? We have to combine it all, right? So how about we take the PI from pigeon. We take the... K from chicken. And we take the E from... The, the, the Ove from dove. She's a pick -ove. We got it. There you go. Molly the pick -ove. <laughs> She's not this. She's not this. She's not this. She is a pick -ove. Yeah. Right. Come on, Molly. Right. You know what? Just for context. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to actually, uh, I'm going to put all this on a layer. So I remember. <laughs> that Molly is a pick -ove. Uh Do not delete layer exclamation marks she is a chicken she's got the quiff like a chicken and beat like a chicken but then she's got the uh, da, 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 da. she's a pick -off. okay we've just decided chat she is a pick -off. no 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 i am happy with the colors she is a pick <laughs> uh, i'm gonna lock that layer and hide it <laughs> okay <coughs> Oh, this funny, this little segment is going on for far too long. So we need to end that segment there and get back on track with our pick -over. All right. Okay. So we've got Molly the pick -over. She is coloured. Thank you. I'd like to, well, I wouldn't say I'm that hilarious. I just come up with nonsense, basically. I just chat shit. <laughs> oh, I swore. I meant, I, I, I can beep that out. I chat beep. Kid friendly content. Uh, okay, right. Let's bring our love hearts in. So, now everyone knows love hearts are like a red colour, right? But we've got to make sure it doesn't clash with this red. So, we're going to make them a dark red so that they stand out better. Um, so, let me get my outline. Uh, oh, hold on. We're going to hide Molly. Uh, so I've selected the background, because this time we're going to invert, so now the hearts are selected. And I'm going to contract it by one pixel. So then it actually sits within the hearts when I do the colour. Uh, I'm going to call this background layer col for colour. And we're going to go boop. Just like that, we've got love hearts. Mm. We'll modify that. I feel like the love hearts need that little shimmer. So let's go back. In. Whoa, let's go back into the love hearts. 
<coughs> so we're going to have like a very opaque red on each love heart. I'm going to go in. I'm mean, just going to... I'm going to make this a soft brush. We'll make it, I don't know, 10 pixels. We'll just go boop. Boop. Little shimmer on each of the corners. Oh, not that one. That's better. Yes. Yes, this is coming together now. I never thought my streams would consist of me doing love hearts. There you go. I don't want my streams to just consist of the same kind of content. So, doing stuff like this, just to mix it up a touch. Uh, how are we doing for time anyway? We've got 45 minutes left on the streams. So we've got plenty of time. Do, do. Now I know in these sort of grooves, the paint has kind of gone a little bit out, but I'm not too worried because this is the background. We're gonna blow it back slightly as well so that the character really pops. Um, so none of that really matters to me. Now, we have not got any more facts to say. Uh, she's a lovebird. Yes, we know she's a lovebird, Vic. Don't you worry. Uh, anyone else joining on the stream? Don't worry, we are doing other things. I'm not just putting highlights on love hearts, okay? <laughs> just to clarify. Uh, but do get involved. Uh, if you want to know anything about me, now's the time. What else can we say? So, I've told you why I do art. I told you why I love card games. What else can we say about myself? Um, that I'd like to share with you all. Oh, I am a father. Google images of lovebirds. Hold on. They are green and blue. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to search this now. Right, hold on. Uh, love birds. Yeah, but they look like parrots. <clears throat> and I wasn't really going for a love bird. So it's fine. It's alright because these are more like parrots, okay? Now, look. Uh, let me just finish these hearts. And then we'll show. I'll show you for context, okay? Did I get every heart? Wow, they really popped with the highlight. Oh, I missed one up there. Wee. Beautiful. I think I got them all. Right. So, for anyone else that's just joined us, this is Molly. This is this is Molly the bird. Uh, we have we have realized this is a love bird, right? There you go. So we've got them side by side. Oh. Let me just move that over. Now we can see. There you go. Right. So these are lovebirds. Molly is clearly not a lovebird. Now if we put in chicken. It shows me fried chicken again. For Christ's sake. Right. This is this is a chicken. That looks more like a rooster than a chicken. Hold on. Real chicken. Right. This is a chicken. That's a fake chicken. This is a chicken. I don't know. I, I lose control. Anyway. Clearly... Molly is not a chicken. So now we've got a dove. This is a dove. Molly looks a bit like a dove, but she has a quiff. So therefore, she's not a dove. So therefore, uh, we realise that, uh, if I find that layer again, uh, she's not a pigeon, she's not a chicken, she's not a dove, she is a pick of... It's a new type of breed. I'm going to make sure that uh, uh, the bird dictionaries all have this name now. And this is what the bird will look like. It's going to be a picture of Molly just sat there like. Molly the pick of. Uh, don't ask. Don't ask, guys. <laughs> uh, I'm not crazy. I promise. <laughs> Vic, don't. Don't encourage it. <laughs> right. Uh, what we're doing. Okay, so we've done the main colour. Uh, what colour should we have the background? 
we need an actual background color so let's call this background color and uh, maybe we just go with that well no that's the same red um what should we have as a background color what pops well with red maybe an orange orange nah needs to be more lovey maybe purple Ooh, ooh, but that's too deep. Maybe a pale purple. Oh, that's too close to Molly. Maybe a dark pale lilac. Oh, how do we like that? How does that look? Does that look good? I think that looks okay. We're gonna mix it up once we add some textures in anyway. Right, let's stick with this. Uh, let's just do a save, so then we've got it backed up just in case. Okay. Are we ready for some texturing? That's next on the list. Now I've got to find... <laughs> I need to find a bird texture. <laughs> I need to find a feather texture. So, uh, let's go to my good friend Google. That's our music sponsor, by the way. Go check them out. Really cool. Uh, okay, so we need a bird, fev, bird, body texture, images, oh, this is so cute, we put bird body texture, it comes in with this, how cute, it's almost like Molly, <laughs> hi Molly, uh, right, we need a bird texture, we need it to be a large bird bird texture that's commercial free please so then i don't get sued with copyrights yes no because there is copyright all over that jazz um okay that's fine we'll go to we'll go to free pick and we'll put in bird body texture on free pick that's just the bird um, a lot of these feathers are dark. Oh, 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 I like this. I like this. Mm, I kind of don't like that at the same time. Hmm. Uh, oh, maybe this. It's brown, though. That's the only issue. Mm. Huh. Sometimes it's really hard to find the right texture. If I put in uh, white. I want it to be white because then the purple will show through. That might work. You know what? We're going to take this texture. Um, what are we going to call it? We're going to call it fluffy white feathers. Okay, let's bring my fluffy white feathers. Oh, wait. Hold on. Mm, don't think I can use it. Damn. Just noticed there's copyright on it. <coughs> it's okay. We'll go a different one. Uh, fluffy white feathers. Fluffy white feathers. Cool. Is a quiff fluffy? I don't know. Is a quiff fluffy? Bird. Um. Ah, screw it. We'll have a fluffy quiff. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Right, we got our texture. Let's put this in the character. Let's just see. So I'll drop that below the uh, outline. Uh, texture feather. Let's just see what happens when we... 
Oh, that's a bit dark. I don't like the I don't like the black. So right now, this is the bit where it got confusing. So basically, there's a drop down here. So this is how the texture normally looks, right? In this drop down, it gives you loads of different options, which are like blending options, and that changes depending on how the picture is portrayed with the other colors underneath. That's why it always looks a bit different. Oh, I like the soft, gentle one. Mm. I like that one. You can't really see much on the belly, though. I want to see the belly. Maybe this one? No. Yeah, the belly's going to be a bit difficult. That's the only downside. You're not going to see a lot of texture on this belly. Unless I did dark. I might have to do it as two two separate things. So what I might do actually, I'm gonna put this as text belly. And then we'll duplicate it. We'll do text texture body. So I'll do it as two separate things. And then that way I can use A lighter one, maybe the overlay. I quite like that. I like that. Right, well, what we'll do is hide this. We will select the pink, bring it back, invert, delete. Nice. I might still play around with this actually. Hard light. Hmm. Trying to decide which one I like. I think I'm just going to step the overlay. Um, maybe 50%, 75%. I don't want it too over the top. Otherwise, we're just going to lose the color underneath. We'll go with 75%. Right, the belly texture. So, let's highlight the belly. Do I want the same texture for the quiff, actually? Yes. So I'll highlight those, go back to the belly, invert it, delete. And we'll drop this so it's not so dark. Nice. Very subtle. I think our washing machine is going to explode. <laughs> I can hear it like vibrating. I'm not going to lie. That's really bad. You might have to open the door again. Okay, this looks a little bit washed out, but I think once we start adding the shadows, this will probably pop a little bit. So we'll leave it in for now, and we'll just see how it looks with the shadows. So, let's get the shadows in next. Shadows. Uh, we'll hide the background. Invert this. Let's go to, ah, select, modify, contract. One pixel. Get our shadows. Make a big brush. Probably about 30. Make it black. It's already soft edged. And let's get in with some shadows. So we need a shadow here. Uh, trying to decide. So the light source is going to come this way. So. That all needs to be shadowed. That needs to be shadowed. Let's be shadowed. The shadow here. Now this dip needs a bit of shadow, but I don't want it to be. Maybe something like that. <coughs> now, the hand, the, this wing is blocking this a, a little bit of face. So, we're actually going to extend this. So, it goes up and round. Like that. 
Gonna add a little bit more down here because the wing is really blocking the billy out the way. Still want it to have a bit of curvature. There we go, that's better. Okay. Now I'm gonna add a bit of shadow here. It's like a bit of the arm, basically, just to make it a little, feel a little bit more cartoony. I'm gonna add a little bit of shadow here. The quiff. Now, because the light source is here, be like the bottom of the quiff is basically. Gonna be in shadow. Now again, we can tally it all up afterwards, so it's not a problem. Right, I don't think we need much more shadow, so let's change this now to a soft light. Oh. Can't really see a lot of that, actually. What else works? Overlay. Overlay. Overlay seems to work a little better. May have to change some of these colours, so the texture... Maybe we go with a multiply. We'll make it 50%. So then it's a little bit more subtle. So you can see more of the colour. Maybe 25%. The belly. We'll go with linen burn. There we go. That looks a bit better. Now I need to tidy up some of this shadow. Because we don't need a shadow here where the quiff is. So let's tidy this up on my head. Tidy up around here. Tidy up around the wing. Nice. <coughs> okay. Now, I am going to do something drastic here. So, the color of this wing, uh, the body of the belly, sorry. We're going to change it slightly. We're going to make it like more of an off pink. Pull this back. Mm. Now, this is where it gets tricky because now... Now what happens if we change the texture? How does that look? Still want it to be not too... Now the lighter texture probably would work a bit better here. Hmm. Well maybe it does work like this. What does it look like on the background? Hmm, what do we think? I don't know if I'm liking the texture. I think this texture is just not working. Make sure on the belly. Hmm. Ferris needs need a different texture yeah that's what i was thinking all right we're gonna get rid of these because i don't think that texture is working the shadows i'm quite happy with now i think the shadows are working but i think we need a different texture because that texture is just not working for what we want it to do um so shadow looks good thanks now we just need a good texture. What about... I mean, that's just a design texture. Hmm. What about if we just have a feather texture? 
feathers. What about this? Feathers. What about this? Do the whole thing. Actually, is it because it's too big? Maybe we have to do this. Stretch it out. And then... God, Photoshop used to be so much more intuitive. Now I would say they're not blending down the bottom here. That make it blend. Let me put this at the top. <coughs> okay, let's see if this texture is any better. Do this and make it look subtle. Kind of want to do this one and make it look a bit subtle. Maybe 20. No, that's a bit too subtle. Maybe 40. Let's try that. Hide the background. Hide this. Select this. Bush. Oh, hold on. Go to that as well. Select this. Bush. Invert. No. Bush. Delete. How does this look? I don't know. Something not quite right about it is the. It's all right. We're just, we've got time in this. Welcome anyone else to the chat, by the way. And a minute, we're just sort of playing around with textures. Hmm. Now I know there are texture brushes. Maybe in this case we just go with a texture. I haven't got any of the correct brushes to be doing any of that, mind you. Um, maybe we have to go with a different colour. Maybe it's because we've got white feathers. So let's try blue feathers and see if that texture works any better. Uh, where have they gone? Blue feathers. Let's spin it. Let's try this. So at the minute, uh, we're just trying to add some texture to our character. Proven semi-difficult at the minute. Uh, can't seem to get much to work. Now, I'm hoping a different colour will make everything pop. Whoa. Hmm. What were you all thinking? Oh. Maybe that. Maybe overlay or... Oh, soft light seems to be okay. Yeah, I was just thinking it might be better. See, I think it was because we were using white feathers. Wow. Oh, that looks cool. I think it was because we were using white feather texture rather than a colour. I'm going to use this. I think this looks better. Right, let's uh, hide the background. And bring it back. 
uh, delete. Yes. By the way, this is this is a uh, Molly. She has a pick of. She's a new type of bird. Okay. Just remember that. Oh my God! Would you stop? Stop! Stupid Photoshop. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I think this works better. I think I am liking this. I might drop it down a little. Bit more subtlety. Don't want it too in your face, do we? So. Right. Now we need to do something with the background. We need to make it pop. Now, I normally like using something. Oh, yes. This will work. A glow burst. Watch this, okay? I'm gonna want this in the middle. Let's make it smaller. Yep. Yep. Okay. Put this to the back. We will put this below the love hearts. And then we will make this. Do cool things. Mm. It looks really moody. <laughs> uh, maybe I didn't need to shrink it so much. Hold on. Let's undo all this for a minute. Let's make it big. Okay, right. Let's... Put this bit right here. Let's make it less moody. Yeah! Oh, that does not work with the purple background, but look at that. Okay, that was vivid. Let's see what else works. Maybe not that one. Yeah, you know what? It's going to have to be vivid. I think vivid. Yeah, I like that. <coughs> I like that a lot. Now, I want the blue... I want the hearts to have some texture. So, I want like a blue... I want like a rubber texture. Um, I want like a rubber balloon. Mm. And it's, if it's shiny, that's even better. Rubber balloon texture. Uh, commercial free. When it's big. I've got a red balloon. I want it really shiny though. Uh, let's put shiny red balloon. Ooh. Oh, they've got foil balloons. Did you know foil balloons were a thing? I did not know that was a thing. Yes. Now I want that to be big though. So let's go tools. Large. <clears throat> I think I'm just going to end up taking this. Okay, let's take this. Same image. Uh, balloon! Bring in the balloon. Oh, oh damn. That one's not copyright, is it? When it's got a Dolby stamp all over it. Mmm, mmm. Where are all the balloons that I saw a minute ago? None of them are here now. 
<clears throat> this one. Yes. Save image. Uh, Baldoon. This one. Ha <laughs> ha. It's a funny looking balloon, but it worked. Now, what I'll do is, do it like this. Right, I'm going to shine these layers and then I just see these ones. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, that really makes the hearts look good. Can't really see that balloon texture much, but it just changes the heart slightly. Which is all I was bothered about, really. Um... I think it's going to have to be screen. Oh. Nah, screen is not really doing it for me. What about lighten? Do it across the whole lot. So it's all been affected in different ways that way. And then we'll do another one for the central lot. Da, da, da. Got a bit of an engine. Yeah. I don't even know if I need an outline on this background actually. Oh, wait, 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 we don't need that one. <laughs> what do we think? I like it. Is that even doing much? Yeah, it affects the colour slightly. <clears throat> Whoa! Hold on, what if we put the colour over the top? Ooh. I'm just having a little mess around now. See, as we've got plenty of time. Yeah, I look better the other way. Uh, undo all that. Sweet. I don't know if I like this being so shiny. There. Nice. Or do we keep the shine in? Nah, we set the shine out. Now, <clears throat> this is another thing I like trying sometimes. I like doing like silhouettes. So let's try a silhouette. Oh. There we go. Over the end. That's a not a very good silhouette. Oh, wait, I know why. Because I normally do black. Then we get the eraser. Make it massive. Make it airy. And then we go. Boop. Boop. And make it. Mm. Whoa. So it just makes everything whoa. Hmm. Don't no no. What do we think? 
Maybe? Is it just too much? What if we put it behind that lot? It's this corner that I want it to be a, just a touch darker. That makes difference. Nah, I don't think that's really adding too much. To be fair, all I have to do is... Move this around. I could also shrink this. And make it bigger. I could also add the outline back in. What do we think? Outline or no outline? Actually, if we put the outline back in. Now this is what I like to do sometimes. So, we'll duplicate this. And that. And then to make the character plop, we will put a Gaussian blur on the background. Hit OK. So, that's blurred. That's not blurred. You see how the blurring just helps. Yeah. Okay. I think that looks good. What do you guys think? I still don't know about the bird. Mm, I think I'm going to change the colour of the quiff. Don't think I like the colour of that quiff being that pale anymore. Just try like a darker red. Whoa, too dark. <laughs> Maybe a stronger red. Ooh! Not quite as strong. A little bit lighter. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, okay. I listened. There you go. The quiff is now a bit of a better red. What about the beak? I feel like the beak now needs to be a bit of a stronger orangey yellow as well. Oh, no. We want it to be brighter than that. Brighter. Ooh, a bit too bright. A little bit duller. Nope. A little bit duller. Want it bright but orangey. Yeah, that's better. Cool. What do we think? Do we like? I like it. I think it looks good. I like it. Now, shall we see how it looks in the in the frame? Uh, let's just load up Illustrator. Mm -mm. Load up the Illustrator of Illustrator. And to be honest, we're almost at the end of the stream, so this has worked out probably pretty well. In all fairness. Right. There is my Illustrator file. This is what blush will do. Your opponent cannot retaliate this card. What does that mean? I will explain much further down the line. You don't need to worry about it. Okay. Right, let's drag the Photoshop into uh, the image layer. Bush. 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 Uh, okay. Try that again. Bush. Hey! And that is 1.7 inch. And it needs to go about there. What do we think? Uh, just so I know everything's in the right place. Let's open up Mermaid. I actually put you... Oh, I did put you in the right layer. Good. This is the character we did yesterday, for anyone who hasn't been watching. Uh, I'd like to make sure all my stuff is done in the same way. Uh, bush. There you go. That is Blush done. Nice. Blush is dunny, dunny, dunny. 
Forceful base is just followed. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. Are you in the chat as well? You might be just finished. We are literally about to finish the stream, but welcome back. <coughs> right. Well, thank you all so much for joining. Uh, to be honest, we've only got five minutes left on the stream, so might as well cut it there. Uh, it's been a good little one. I'm happy. Do we like this? I think so. I think this is good. Uh, while we're here, let's just export this out. Thank you so much, Vic, for the support. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah. I'll be back tomorrow, same time. Uh, 8.30 a.m. BST time. Uh, we'll mix it up a little bit tomorrow. And we'll try something a little bit different. Um, probably in a art stream, but we'll see what happens. Alright. But thank you all for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.